Queen Deja and in today's video I will be reacting ring to episode 7 of Mariko Chan. So we're gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh. What's wrong? <laughs> oh, my god, my oh my god, it's so cute. I just really want these two to be friends, but I just, <laughs> I feel like they're not. I mean, she didn't need to humiliate you. It was just a moment of like, mm. Mm. Poor baby. Like, oh. They're really not going to be friends by the end of this damn series. They're not going to hang out and, you know... Go on dates, go to a theme park, go eat food together. <laughs> it's just gonna be me going, Hana. Don't get me wrong, because I love, everybody knows how much I love Hana, because Hana. Because <laughs> Hana, Hana is just the cutest freaking airhead. Hana is me in a nutshell sometimes when I am just like, eh. she doesn't care. <laughs> Did it get all... <laughs> mm. That's the reason why... <laughs> Unfortunately not. Just you. You don't watch her face. Maybe. God, I haven't seen one of those in like forever. Especially <laughs> Because you know how, like, sometimes when you're going and you're throwing ish away and that's how you kind of see it? I think it was, like, a couple of years ago when I was just throwing ish away. Um, it wasn't mine. It was my parents. So I was like, oh, don't need this. <laughs> but it was nice to, like, reminisce on memories. No. 
I don't think friends is the greatest word. More of acquaintances. You know, maybe Nico, you need to go with Hana and Yulia John just in case. Well, in a way, now you're kind of friends. Are you getting suffocated? <laughs> Poor baby. Death by suffocation. She even has her jacket matching her for me. <laughs> I hope so too, but I don't think it will. Well, you know, for Hana, it'll be okay, because Hana. Can we talk real quick? You couldn't even pay me. No. I don't want to turn your phones on and, you know, um, for some extra light. See, Yulia will be that one friend who'd be like, yeah, come on, let's go. And I'd be that friend, like, if anything happens to us, I'm blaming you. That's not a rock. No. <laughs> no, no, no. What do you say? Yeah. 
Hannah, no, don't listen to her. See, once again. Excuse me, as I was trying to say, once again, you lose that one. Like, come on, let's not give up. And I'm over here like, no, let's give up. It's time to go. Because it is just you. Uh oh. Artsy my ass. Well, there's something worse. Wait, Hana. I mean, I know, yeah, like last week we saw, you know, a spirit eat another one, but this, that, mm -mm, oh. All right, get the fuck out. Go. <laughs> Go.
Can we please just go and never come back? Just say yes, grab her, get the fuck out. Just say yes and so you can go. I honestly thought we would not see these two again. But it seems like kind of now these two are like her guardian in a way. Now, oh. Yeah, please, can we just go? <laughs> We had fun on this trip, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't think we'll ever come back. Is that what you meant by that? So now she only really has one more time to just be helped by them? But that's all what she really wanted him um, was friends. They're friends now. They're girlfriends. They're gonna hang out, go on dates. It was really cute, really. But the fact is that these three could have just died by the end of this episode. And the fact that those spirits 
save the crap out of them and i'm th I'm guessing miko now only has one more time to use them and then after that that's it i'm guessing because there has to be another reason on why um they're also here not for what she did not only for what she did last week but there also has to be another reason maybe it also has to do with hana as well and especially you know with hana being this like somewhat quote unquote holy light because hana once again is pure fucking light at the end of the day so who really knows but <laughs> at the end of the day it is yulia's fault for wanting to come here but she wanted to prove to Miko or really to have Miko you know accept her and to be acknowledge her and be like oh yeah you see these I can see them too because of course when she went to other people and said hey I can see ghosts you had girls who were like oh don't make everything about you I, and I get that because it happens to all of us at the end of the day girls guys whoever don't make it about your fucking self because they'll say, not everything is about you. And this is that and the third. But this was cute. Mm, probably him. No, our holy light child. No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> We just can't end that little bit like that. We serious? Uh oh, okay, okay, hold on. Time out, okay, time out. All right. So now that Yulia has officially seen, you know, Hana's holy light, <laughs> and Miko is like, here, eat this, aka if you tell anybody I'm killing you. Um, still, once again, there is something special about Hana. There, there's something that all three of them are special in their own but in their own way. The fact is that yes, two out of the three can see spirits, and one is very clueless. But she has a holy light surrounding her to the point where now anything that comes near her, like they can't, they can, they probably still can attach themselves, but not to a point because you know, holy light and such. <laughs> Hana all is holy but I feel like now we're getting into the deep parts of the show or really the series where we're really going to learn like the backstories of why both Miko and Yulia Yulia can see spirits I'm guessing we're gonna maybe find this out in the next episode because I feel like we're going to have one of those episodes where it's like quote unquote either a flashback backstory or something where either one of the two girls goes and does like a whole bunch of research because yes Miko still has a lot of unanswered questions ever since the beginning of the show wondering why in the world can I see this because still there has to still be something else special about Miko that me I don't know that possibly manga readers do know and I don't want to be spoiled on that ish so it could be anything I don't think like her parents made a deal with someone and such or maybe her mom made a deal with something but it's it's something about her that makes her very special and unique to not only be the only one who is like this and such so hopefully getting closer to the end of this series or eventually i'm probably gonna have to read the manga of this um we do get that 
question answer because it is one of the biggest unanswered questions going seven weeks on to eight weeks into this show officially by next Sunday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode seven of Marie Cochon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode eight. Bye, guys.